we got a lot to cover. Let's get to it. What's going on guys? So as you guys know, I went to Seattle Retro Game Expo. I know it's been a while. I had to shift through some things and get some things in order. So let's get to it. As you guys saw in the intro, we got a lot to cover. So I'm gonna get started. Um, I kind of separated things into sections because there was, I guess in a sense, different layers to my Seattle trip. So first things first, um, I was located in a hotel, Hotel Seattle. It was an old school, classic kind of hotel. It was just me. I was uh like a minute away from there i guess their harbor in the harbor downtown area and i was less than a minute away from the uh subway station in the transit so that was definitely a great location i appreciate the hospitality shown from hotel seattle um and there was a target within walking distance so i happened to be just looking on the site for whatever reason sitting in the hotel room uh and this was the friday night before the seattle retro game expo so um, I decided to look on there. It was a lot of games on sale, so I picked up quite a few things there. So it actually started there first. So I picked up Luigi's Mansion, uh, Dark Moon. This is the second installment of Luigi's Mansion series. This was twenty dollars. It's Nintendo Select. That's always the price. I've also picked up Nickelodeon Kart Racers. This was on sale for twenty-five bucks, I believe. Picked it up. Fun little game, little kart racing game. Picked up Sonic Mania. This is also on sale for 30 bucks. It's the, uh, I don't know if it's collector's edition or not, but picked that up, that was cool. Also picked up Far Cry New Dawn for the PS4. This was on sale for $19.99, so that was an automatic pickup. Uh, last but not least from Target, the Sony PlayStation Classic. This was on sale for $29.99, and at that price, even though you know it was a lot of um, uh, bad feedback about the PlayStation Classic. I picked it up. I couldn't turn it down for that price. So I picked it up for $29.99. So now, before we get into Seattle Retro Game Expo, let me grab the thing there. I also took a trip to Miss Kelsey Lewin's store. If you're not familiar with Kelsey Lewin, Kelsey Lewin owns uh, Pink Gorilla Gaming. It's a retro gaming store. They have two locations in Seattle. I went to one location uh, located in Chinatown and I decided to support her. So shout out to Kelsey Lauren. Um, I'll link her channel in the description below. So of course I had to go and support her. She is a uh, uh, frequent guest on Metal Jesus Rocks YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm a fan of their entire crew and their family and I wanted to support her. I had a pretty big pickup from there as well. So first, the Pink Gorilla Games uh, shirt, I had to get that with the matching snapback hat. And it also said in her store, if you purchase any apparel, you get a lifetime discount. So Kelsey, hook me up. I'll see you in Portland soon. So that's first things first. I actually had to open this, but this is a Sega Saturn controller. Um, can't remember what I paid for this. It wasn't very much, it wasn't expensive. It was brand new in the box, but I had to ship everything back um, in my luggage. So I took it out the box to save space. Second Saturday controller. Picked up a couple controllers from her. This is 15 bucks. And I like, it's kind of classy how she does her stuff. It's got the Pink Gorilla Gaming sticker with the price on there. You guys can see that. This is a uh, original Xbox. This controller in green, that's 15 bucks. Also picked up a GameCube controller. I don't know the brand, it was 15% off. It was 10 bucks. I needed a second one, so I grabbed that. Also picked up a Sega Dreamcast controller. Pick that up, and I got a couple games from there for the Wii Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Pick that up. New Super Mario Brothers U. This is my second copy, my first one. The disc got corrupted, got damaged, so I picked that up. Uh, Pac Man World 2 for the GameCube. Pick that up, and also for the Dreamcast Tomb Raider Last Revelation. And you'll see a trend of certain consoles. I was trying to focus mostly on Dreamcast, uh, GameCube, things I was lacking on, and even the original Xbox, so I was doing a lot of research. So let's get to the largest pickup, which is Seattle Retro Game Expo. And I've been working, you guys know I've been working nonstop to gather enough funds to go, and really my, my main focus was having enough money 
to pick up games at Seattle Retro Game Expo, honestly. So majority of my money was saved for that. So let's get to that. It's really big. We talking about, you guys seen it laid out. I purchased over 65 games, I think I counted. So this was the badge for the weekend. A cool little idea. Took a blank dash, put S R G E 2019 on the disc. Pretty cool. Um, I also picked up a bag, which I needed for so many games that I picked up. S R G E, it's five bucks. Picked that up. Uh, also picked up a shirt. Now this says 2018. Apparently, they're supposed to have 2019 ones, and they I don't know what happened. They didn't show up, so uh, I picked this up. So that was pretty cool. Um, next. Let's go with Microsoft. Banjo Kazooie, nuts and bolts for the Xbox 360. The original Fable. My dog just came downstairs. Original Fable for the original Xbox. Shinmu 2 for the original Xbox. NBA Inside Drive 2004 for the Xbox. And this is a Xbox original exclusive. I was looking for some of those. Next, you got Dragon Ball Z Sagas. I picked that up. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Definitely had to pick it up. Big Mega Man fan. Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. Had to pick that up. And Capcom Fighting Evolution. Uh, never seen this game, so I decided to pick that up. It was a pretty cool pickup, so I thought that'd be awesome. Pick that up. That's through there. Next, let's do original Nintendo Tecmo Bowl Classic. I actually got the manual. I'm just now seeing this, guys. Super awesome. Got the manual in the back. Awesome. And that that uh, particular seller, in particular, he's a pretty awesome guy. He, these are basically like his personal collection. He had a lot of extras. Original Zelda Gold Cart. Pick that up. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I had to grab that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Had to grab that super classic. Got some Nintendo 64. Zelda Connie of Time. Had to get that. WWF No Mercy. The best wrestling games ever came out on the N64. Don't at me. Not up for debate at all. Period. Best wrestling games ever. And some of the best games in history. Don't get it twisted. These wrestling games are great. No Mercy. WrestleMania 2000, absolute classic. Picked up Madden 64, I actually paid a dollar for the guy for that. And I got this one because I remember when the N64 just came out, my brother had it. And this was just so much different from the other Madden. So um, it was kind of like an installing feel, so I picked that up. Classic, perfect dark. Y'all know what's up with that. WCW NWO Revenge, this was like the turning point when they started making those great games. It's a fantastic game. Like I said, best wrestling games ever came out on that. Whoops, that's not good. Banjo Kazooie, had to pick that up. And if you guys follow my social media, funny thing is, I was mentioning how when I got back, I'm gonna use an app and upload all my games, and I need to do that. And this is the reason why. Picked up two copies of Diddy Kong Racing, which ain't a big deal, I'll be able to sell it, so um, I'll end up maybe doing it on a giveaway or something like that, but Diddy Kong Racing, Times two. Uh, Banjo Tui. Pick that up. And that's it for N64. Uh, next, let's continue with Nintendo. What have on the Nintendo? This game I actually talked about the other day is Tatsunoko versus Capcom Ultimate All Stars for the Wii. This is a fantastic fighter game, man. I'm telling you, if you haven't played it, you don't have it, pick it up. It is great, great game. Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii. You guys know what time it is with this. It's Smash Brothers. Nothing else to be said. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I actually played the new one at A3. And I was impressed. So I went back and picked up the first one. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Um, of course, I got the Wii U version. I'm a big fan of this series. of The, uh, the Mario uh, series. This is fantastic. Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Had to get that. Went on Smash Brothers. Uh pickups three the ones I didn't have Super Smash Brothers Melee uh, for the GameCube and if you look 
you'll see that this was actually, I guess, a blockbuster that someone had. So that's pretty cool having that little stick on there. Mario Kart Double Dash for the GameCube. Pick that up. Soul Calibur 2. This is the version where you can actually play as Link. Pick that up. Luigi's Mansion. Had to get that. Absolute classic. Capcom vs. SNK 2. Had to pick that up. Fantasy Star Online 3 Card Revolution. Had to pick that up. And last but not least for the GameCube, Beautiful Joe. Had to pick that up. I've been looking for this and I still need two. I don't like that, that black stickers on the top. I don't know what that was for. So that's it for Nintendo. Picked up two games for the Panasonic 3DO. Mad Dog McCree. Picked that up. This is a complete box. So that was pretty cool. Um, manuals and all. And the disc. Pretty cool. And the other game I got for it was Foes of Ali. For Panasonic 3DO. Picked that up as well. Pretty cool. Let's go Sega. For the Master System. Sega Walter Payton Football. Picked that up. Resident Evil, Cole Veronica. Picked that up for the Dreamcast, classic. Actually have a uh, PlayStation game mixed in here. WCW Nitro, um, big wrestling fan, so I had to pick that up just cause. Fantasy Star Online version two, had to get that. Another classic. Ready to rumble boxing, absolute classic. If you are a big fan of Dreamcast like myself, this was one of the uh, launch titles, or it was a big title for the Dreamcast, so I had to get that. Soul Fighter, which I believe is a spinoff to Soul Calibur. A lot of people say it's not that good. I decided to give it a try when I seen it because I heard about it, so I picked it up. WWF Royal Rumble, had to get that. Capcom vs. SNK, had to pick it up. There's a lot of fighters you'll see uh, that I picked up. And last but not least, Sonic Adventure. I've been looking for this for a while just didn't have it for whatever reason but got my copy and the last little bit now we're really on Sony for the Vita Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 absolute beast it plays so well on the Vita I'm a huge fan of this I love this I've been playing this the past couple days fantastic game if you haven't played it and you got a Vita get one uh, World of Final Fantasy had to pick that up. Um, I never really seen this out, and I seen it, I picked it up. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Extreme Legends Complete Edition Eight. Had to pick that up for the Vita as well. While we're still on portables, also picked up Street Fighter Alpha Max Three for the PSP. Picked that up. Completing the box. And these next few games, a uh, gentleman had a table. It was actually a store. I can't remember the name of the store, so I apologize for that. But he had games like four for ten, almost like uh, what GameStop has going on right now. So I picked up a few games from him. PlayStation 3, you got Infamous, which is the first of the uh, series. Picked that up. You got Final Fantasy VIII. I had to grab that. Uncharted 3. Drake's Deception, or Uncharted, Drake's Fortune, Max Payne 3, Uncharted 2, Among, uh, Amongst Thieves, Among Thieves, pick that up, and I also picked up Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories, pick that up for the PS2, and I picked up this series of Jack and Daxter the original the greatest hits version of number two and Jack 3 pick that up almost dropped these so all in all I think I had a very successful trip I didn't pick up uh, as many consoles I was looking for I was looking for a game gear couldn't find that but either way I'm definitely happy with the pickup I came back I had to get one two I think three extra bags just to send my stuff back and I shipped some stuff back from uh, Retro Game Camp in Los Angeles so all in all I had a very very successful 
West Coast trip. I enjoyed Seattle so much. Seattle is such a beautiful city. I just had a good time. It reminded me of back home in uh, Baltimore a little bit. Of course, much cleaner, no disrespect, but Baltimore is what it is. Um, I, and I do love Baltimore, don't get it twisted. But Seattle was great. Um, if you do travel to Seattle, I highly recommend taking public transportation. It's so easy and accessible to get around. It's just a, it's everything was just so easy, especially the location I was at. So I definitely was gracious and just being able to use public transportation. I saved a lot of money in comparison to Los Angeles while I was taking Uber and Lyft and the traffic was absolutely horrific and horrible. So, uh, so shout out to Seattle, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I actually would like to go back there. Um, all in all, Seattle Retro Gaming Expo was a good experience. Um, it was more on the smaller scale. I would recommend it if you're in the area, but I wouldn't make a trip out of it. I mean, I just kind of did it because I was already on the West Coast and didn't cost me much to go up to Seattle, so I went ahead and did it. But all in all, I would probably do it if I'm in the area. So that was my pickups for the Seattle trip. 65 games in total um, and one console, which was the PlayStation Classic. So I just want to thank the video game voter Vanguard I also almost forgot, of course, I got the set and on a panel with the immortal John Hancock. Thank you to him. He shouted me out. I gave him a shirt. He wore the shirt in his video. He linked my channel. I'll link that episode below to his channel as well. If you haven't subscribed, do so. Amazing collector. Walter Niles when it comes to video games. I just appreciate him. And I also got exclusive. You'll see that very soon. I'm not going to... uh take the uh i'm not gonna unwrap the gift just yet um again thank you to the video game voter vanguard for your continued support we're continuing to grow slowly but surely i appreciate it i appreciate doing this and this is something that i love i find joy i find my happiness uh with video games and actually meeting my new my new friends and just meeting people that joins the vanguard you know i just appreciate it you want to donate to the video game voter vanguard www.patreon.com backslash video game votary uh video game voter podcast uh you can find it on every podcast platform apple google podcast spotify you name it it's all on there just type in video game votary video game voter is also my online handle for all social media platforms if you're looking for me that's where you can find me emails video game voter at gmail.com um official website uh www.wordpress.com backslash video game votary that's official website video game voter you find links to the videos you'll find my blog post you will also find links to the podcast if you want to look that up and actually listen to it while you're at work on the way to work whatever the case may be check it out um just i just thank you like subscribe Comment down below what you thought about the pickups. If you went to Seattle Retro Gaming Expo, if you were there, what you thought about it, what you think about the footage, and you know, if you plan on traveling there, just let me know down in the comment section how you feel. Like, subscribe, share it to all your friends. We're going to end the episode on that note. This is your boy, the Video Game Voter. We out.